I like to, with the amount of people that's here, and I don't know whether there's any, how many more may be coming, if you have a comment or a question, I'd like to, to hold, see if you can hold it to one at a time so that we can kind of keep things in a, some sort of an orderly fashion. Uh, the commissioners are here. Um, I basically didn't, had them come uh, so that they didn't think we were doing anything behind their back. They can hear what we have to say. If they want to stand up and defend the question or comment, they're more than welcome to. Other than that, you know, it's, uh, I think everybody knows we're here for. I have, had a, I have a few points here that I would like to bring out. I think everybody knows who I am, by the way, anyway. <laughs> if you don't, I'm Howie Schmader. But uh, a couple of things here that I guess I look at, and I think a lot of people here uh, that I've talked to feel along the same lines. The county is currently $6.2 million plus or minus in debt. And the commissioners, according to their uh, statements and articles and everything, want to add another $8 million to that. Uh, and we all agree something probably has to be done, but to that magnitude, I don't think so. And whenever they say, you know, $8 million, I just don't see how they're going to do it for anywhere less than anywhere 12 to 15. I mean, I, I've re helped remodel homes and I've done everything else. And they're talking about remodeling something. Every time you tear a wall out, you're going to find something else. And that's all done on a cost plus basis. And a project that large, you know, uh, if a contractor bids on it, let's say for the windows or the roof or whatever, uh, he can only hold that price so long. So if there's delays or time frame, somebody's going to pay the increases. You know, material doesn't go down. And the other, one of the other things I want to bring out from 2001 to 2014, the county population has been reduced by about 6%, as near as I can find. You know, so we're in a declining economy, declining population. You know, and uh, I, I just don't feel that, uh, I, I can't see how we can spend this kind of money. I mean, it's, going, it's not only going to affect us, you know, our children, our grandchildren. Uh, one of the things that uh, we found out, one of the largest sectors of the population of Clarion County is senior citizens. You know, uh, the largest population is leaving to the young people. You know, the young people are leaving. You know, they have to go somewhere else to get jobs. We've lost our major manufacturers. You know, Sealy and, and uh, Owens are gone. You know, how many other people are going to leave? We're fortunate we have people like Don Lewis and the modular home and the manufacturing houses, housing industry here. You know, if we didn't have that, we wouldn't have nothing. You know, sure they can say, well, uh, somebody's moved into the old Astro plant. We're fortunate for there. But how many other growth you know, businesses come along? How many industries are looking to move into here? You know, what do we have to offer other than evidently higher taxes? You know, new housing starts are down. You know, people aren't building homes here. Uh, for example, I know of a, many, uh, a building a guy has, he couldn't sell, and he offered to give it to the county because he can't afford to pay the taxes on it. Yeah. If you can't afford a building and you've got to give it away because the tax is too high, what's that telling you? What's that telling our commissioners? I mean, these are things that I look at, you know. Uh, you know, I've heard from the commissioners, they claim this is their solution to the problems at the courthouse and, the, and, and uh, with the annex. And their comment was, well, that's our solution, what's yours? My solution, this is Howie Schmader's, is to back off, re-look at this thing. You know, let's, let's get some people together, some industry or community businessmen. You know, that are, uh, I'm not talking about the fiber board people with this, I'm talking about local businessmen, and sit down with them and say, we have a problem up here. Is there any way you guys have any ideas to help us solve it? No, they went ahead and they're own going to do this. Uh, you know, it, it, here again, it's like how many people in here would love to add on to their house, build themselves a garage? But we can't do it. You know, you don't do it because number one, you either don't have the money or you're looking ahead for the future and you look at your job may be gone. You know, we get our commissioners can go ahead and spend this money, but when they're looking down the throat of a declining economy, you know, that's no different. What's happening in Washington, D.C.? You know, it's pitiful, you know, and that's basically what I wanted to say here and, and uh, get some comments from you people and, and see what, what the thought is, you know. I've yet to run into anybody's for this. Anybody have any questions, anyone, or comments? Well, what's, our, what's our representative say about this? 
I haven't talked to the representative. I mean, here, here's the thing, what people don't understand is, it's like township supervisors do not have a boss, except the people, they're elected people. The, town, the county commissioners don't have a boss, other than us. They're elected by the people. You know, our representatives, the governor, nobody has any say so over them. Other than now they can set out policies that they have to adhere to, whether it's whatever. But they really don't have a boss. You know. Uh, go ahead, Rick. Well, uh, I, I talked to Don Overlander, um, just to kind of bring her up to speed about what's going on. And uh, just so she would know, you know what's being said uh, by her constituents. Uh, her comments to me were, though, she's like, she's a state representative. She's not a county representative. Right. And she will not get involved in this. She, she feels like she cannot get involved in this. So uh, well, that's that's her stance. So, put, that, put that way. And that's her way of ducking. Well, no, it's not their way of ducking. It. It's, she has no say so. Because, like I said, the commissioners are elected by us, the people of the current county. We're their boss. Don Overlander has nothing to say on how they run the county. Well, she was elected by us. That's right. She represents she, us in this county. And she's not their boss. It's just like township supervisors. They don't have a boss except for the people of that township. That's their only boss. Not the commissioners, not anybody. Well, the same way the commissioners. They're, the only boss they have is us, the people. They indicate how they're going to pay for this. Well, what they talked about was, and I think at the meeting, I believe I got my thoughts right, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong. They had talked about a 1% mill increase, I believe it was 2017. But the thing is, my question to them was, okay, that'll maybe pay for this, but we're also facing, and by their own admission, we need a new roof on the hospital complex, we need a new roof on the jail, we're facing a tax reassessment with three to five million dollars where's that money coming from you know so if you look at this this money in their admission it's eight million you had the reassessment for three to five you know now we're up to 12 13 million we're always six and a half million dollars in debt new rooms in these facilities what another seven eight hundred thousand dollars you know where's it in You know, I, I just don't see where the money's going to come from. I don't know how we can afford to pay the taxes. You know, it's going to affect us, our children, our grandchildren, because they want a new complex now. And like I said, I'm the first one to admit something has to be done. But to this magnitude, I don't, I, I just can't see it.